Two friends A and B started a business by investing one fifty thousand and two fifty thousand respectively. They agreed to distribute their earnings in the same ratio of their investment. After a year, profit earned was rupees six hundred thousand. Each of them added fifty thousand to their respective profit and invested in a different project. If this project gave a yield of four twenty thousand, then A share in the profit is. Here we don't have to care about the year because years for both A and B are same. Now. We only have to care about the investment. In the first project, A and B invested one fifty thousand and two fifty thousand. Now the ratio is fifty goes three times in one fifty, five times in two fifty. So three is to five is the ratio of investment. Now here earnings divided in the same ratio of investment. That is here three plus five. Eight part is equal to earning six six hundred thousand. Eight part is equal to six hundred thousand. Then one part is equal to eight goes seven times in fifty six, five times in forty. So one part is seventy five thousand. Then three part is equal to three into seventy five. Seventy five into three is equal to two twenty five. So two twenty five thousand. Then five part is equal to seventy five into five. Seven seventy into five is equal to three fifty. Five into five twenty five. So three fifty plus twenty five, three seventy five thousand. Three seventy five thousand. Now in the second project, in the second project, A and B added fifty thousand to each of their profit. A and profit two twenty five thousand. So he added fifty thousand to it. So two twenty five thousand plus fifty thousand, and B added. Fifty thousand to three seventy five thousand. Now this will become two twenty five plus fifty is equal to two seventy five. So two th two seventy five thousand, and here three seventy five plus fifty is equal to four twenty five. So four twenty five thousand. Now if you take ratio, twenty five goes eight times in two hundred, three times in seventy five. So eight plus three eleven times in two seventy five, and twenty five goes Four into four, sixteen times in four hundred, and sixteen plus one, seventeen times in four twenty-five. So eleven is to seventeen is the ratio, which means here A is share, A is share is equal to eleven part. So eleven part out of total eleven plus seventeen twenty-eight into total earnings at the end of the second project is four twenty thousand. For for second project earnings is equal to four twenty thousand. Now seven goes four times in twenty eight, six times in forty two. So sixty times in four twenty four goes fifteen times in sixty. So eleven into fifteen k is equal to one sixty five. Eleven into fifteen is one sixty five. So one sixty five thousand rupees. Option two is your answer.